it's Jamila welcome back to my channel I literally been out all day I went to a baby shower and then I was at a Super Bowl party and yeah so <laughs> I just decided like when I came home I was like uh I really need to film like tomorrow's upload date and I don't really have any content slack as heck so today's video is all the series I need to finish ASAP like they should have been done yesterday but here we are it's a lot a lot more than I thought to be honest with you guys we're just gonna go out of order I'm just gonna do what feels right first of all what the heck I grabbed the wrong book well too dying bad but anyways and so I need to finish the A Blade So Black series by L.L. McKinney I think there's actually a third book out of this but I've only read the first book and I think the second one is what's a dream so dark I really really need to finish these as soon as possible because I actually did enjoy this first book like I it was so weird the first time I tried to read it did not like it after a couple pages so didn't read and then the next time I read it I just was like oh this is so cute like I mean cute is that the right word for I don't know but yeah, I have to finish of these books. So this book is an urban Alice in Wonderland retelling. Very good stuff. We have a black Alice and we love to see it. Okay, so next, I actually just finished the first book to this this month. I have The Damned by Renee Audier. This is the second book in her The Beautiful series. But there's The Damned and The Righteous. I have not read these yet need to get to them as soon as possible. We'll be trying to get to that as soon as I can. I actually really enjoyed The Beautiful by the way so I'm really excited to continue. Um, so this series follows like a girl in a dark and mysterious New Orleans and there's vampires and such, supernatural creatures and yeah. Next we have the third book in the, what series is this? What is this called? I don't know we're gonna say the anti-darken series but that's bright we burn I've been meaning to read this third book for like a quarter century it's just not happened for me yet so I need to prioritize and get to this as soon as I can this is actually a historical fiction series and yeah I'd like to get to that ASAP this is like a Vlad the Impaler retelling with like the girl is like Vlad. Alright, moving on. So next we have Siege and Storm, which I believe is the second book in the... What is this called? The Shadow and Bone trilogy. So I read the first one, need to read the second one and continue, but yeah. I feel like everybody knows what Shadow and Bone is, so... Next, I have the second book in the Illuminae Files, and that is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff. And these are kind of like, would this be called a space opera? Like a YA space opera? Like what is a space opera? I don't really know. It just sounds like it fits. Yeah, I have to finish these. I literally bought the whole series. I really enjoyed Illuminae and I want to get to these. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, this. Okay. And then next we have Unravel Me by Tahira Mafi. This is the second book in the Shatter Me series. I read the first Shatter Me book like so freaking long ago, probably like 2018 or... 2019? Mm, I'm gonna say 2019. So it's been a hot minute. I almost am like I need to reread the first one but I don't really think I do because I feel like I really remember that book for some reason. I don't know why. This one follows a girl whose touch is lethal I think or causes severe pain. Okay maybe I don't remember as much as I thought I did but yeah and she been locked up and then she's like yeah, I need to reread the first book. <laughs> God. <laughs> There's this one. And then we have the second book in the Thorn. I think it's a duology. And that is The Theft of Sunlight. The first book is Thorn and it's like a goose girl retelling. It's actually pretty nice. Um, So I am actually pretty excited to get to the second book. I think it's going to be lovely, honestly. I'd be very disappointed if it's not like... Like, I really hope it improves from the first book. 
Next we have A Sky Beyond the Storm by Savata here. This is the fourth book in the An Ember in the Ashes quartet and I have yet to read this. I can't believe it. I don't know what is wrong with me or why I haven't gotten to it yet but it needs to happen. It needs to happen this year. We're not playing anymore like Jamil and Kenneth's look up. Uh, this one I anticipate I'm gonna really enjoy it because I enjoyed the book before this uh Reaper at the Gates very much and I just expect great things from this all right so next I don't know what do will we count this as a new series um we have iron gold by Pierce Brown this is like the fourth book or the first book in the second trilogy for the red rising books you decide I don't know but I need to continue this author's work and I am obsessed with the Red Rising trilogy. If you have not read it, you're hurting yourself. You're, you just, you just gotta read it. I don't know what else to tell ya. It's great. I adore it so much. One of my favorites of all time. Read it. This is literally like Hunger Games in space. Hunger Games in space with a bit of spice. Yeah, we'll go with that. Next we have Cress by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles. Lunar Chronicles. Each book follows a different character. They're set in like this technological future but based off of fairy tales. The first book is like based off of Cinderella. Second one Scarlet is based off of Little Red Riding Hood and the third one is Rapunzel. So I need to get to these. It's been years and years and years. What am I doing? I loved the first two books. We need to make it happen. It's been long enough. Next, I don't understand why I haven't continued the series because it is literally my favorite thing. But the second book in the Last Magician series, this is The Devil's Thief by Lisa Maxwell. I am obsessed. The first book I absolutely loved. I gave five stars. And I am actually not expecting <laughs> it to get any better than that first book, honestly. But I am invested and want to read this one and the third one as well. So, yes, we're going to work on that. So this series follows, like, time-traveling thieves and uh, features, like, magical abilities and a heist. Yeah, magical heist. Mm-hmm. Aren't you interested? You're investing now, ain't ya? Alright, so moving on. Next we have the third book in the Ark of a Scythe trilogy. This is The Toll by Neil Schusterman. These books are like dystopian, um, futuristic society where you can't get sick because everything's been cured like the cure for everything is found so people live like for a long time and they've mastered everything even death so they have to like actually physically go in and off people so that the population stays under control and the sides do it they go and they murk people and it's supposed to be like this organized thing that isn't biased but low-key some of these sides like killing people it's kind of bad but yeah so this is something i really need to like sit down and read it's kind of a thicky but yeah next we have always and forever laura jean this is the this is the third book in the to all the boys i love before series i don't know why the heck i binged the first two books and then i was just like uh, I think it's because I didn't like the ending of the second book and that's why I didn't continue but I do need to finish this trilogy. Honestly I'm just way too committed to mid series you know what I'm saying. Next up we have God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. This is the second this is the second book in the Nevernight Chronicles. Y'all tell me why I'm more than halfway through this book. I'm like on page 242 and I still have not finished this. Love the first book. Was loving the second book. And I still haven't finished this. And I have the third book. And like what? Make it make sense. I don't understand. I just like randomly one day did not pick it up again and I like really didn't pick it up again. Like been like two years. What am I doing? Alright, so the next book or series that I need to continue that I'm slacking like super hard on. This is probably like the biggest one because I've 
probably had like this series the longest out of probably anything almost anything on my shelf anyways let's get to the point um that is the throne of glass series you guys you guys you guys you guys what the heck is it about the series that intimidates me so dang much like ugh, every time i try to pick up this book it just i don't know what's wrong with me i really loved the book before i loved air fire I need to get to this soon because I want to know what happens. I have way too many copies of this series. Well, technically I have two. Paperback and hardback. But we're not talking about my poor buying habits. I need to finish this series. It's a lot. It's a lot left. I have, God help me, I have four more books in this series. Y'all send the strength through the screen. Help a sister out because I'm... Um, drowning i'm drowning um yeah the weirdest dumbest thing about this is i'm really excited to finish this series why i don't know maybe i just want to be a part of the fun maybe i want to be a part of the hype maybe that's why but yeah so that is the video you guys like <laughs> those are all the series that i really need to try to get to a sap so I'll be working on that. You guys see me not sticking to it. If you're wondering, Jamila, what happened? Like, call me out. Just call me out. It's fine. Thank you. That's the video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>